John, uh, the obvious question, a day where we, we had plenty of chances today, uh, does, it, does it feel like a point gained or does it feel like almost a, a defeat today? No, I can certainly say it's two points dropped, you know, unfortunately. Yeah. I thought our performance was very good overall, you know, I thought for the first 30 minutes in the game we were excellent. Uh, very, very early in the game there's a, a penalty shout for us. Uh, Romano's, can he... I haven't seen it back, so it, but it looks like the keeper's got a touch on him when he's went for the ball. Uh, I think it's just too early for the referee to, 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 to do something about it. You know, I think the referee's been caught. Uh, oh, I've got a decision to make, you know, a little bit, oh, I'll be safe. You know, I'll not make a controversial decision so early in the game. And uh, actually they break up the park and create an opportunity. So you can see right for the start, I mean, the two teams, yourselves and Airdrie, very good football teams, very attacking minded. So the game is always going to be you know, a game where there was going to be moments happening. How it was one each, you know, it could easily have been, you know, a lot more. Uh, but then I thought after that period, I thought we controlled the first half and played some really good football, scored an excellent goal, and probably should have been further ahead. Uh, but a great goal, great ball, ball you know, by, by call, and a great touch and finish by Kai Kennedy. Uh, I know he's kind of saying that he's what his touch probably go on his right foot because he's right footed but I actually went on his left and it just shows you you go and have a strike you know it was a great strike uh, on his weaker foot but right in the top bin so a great great, great goal and then I thought the last 15 minutes of the first half Airdrie kind of, kind of came back in yeah, they got a lot about the ball without creating a lot you know so quite comfortable and I thought we started the second half really well also you know and we've you know, as I say, I think Airdrie are a good side. Uh, never ever going to go and lie down. They're going to keep at it. But we had opportunities, glaring chances to finish the game. And of course, you don't take them and it comes back to bite you. We make one mistake in the game and we get punished for it. And uh, that's unfortunately what we've been doing. You know, We've been creating opportunities, not taking them. And then somehow or other, we know nowhere, we kind of like... And I don't mean that just about good to because obviously they were in the game, but they weren't creating a hell of a lot. You know, they were We have to be able to defend, you know, that type of thing, which we were defending. Uh, however, we've lost the ball deep in our own half. Guy steps inside, and the ball's kind of breaks, and Lad Smith hits a shot that's kind of like hit into the ground, and it manages to squeeze its way in at the far post, you know, and out of nowhere, you know, it's. You've dropped two points, and even at the end, you know, one's through great opportunities. Stevie McGinn's had opportunities, Romance had opportunities, and obviously Gary Oliver's is the big one, the big one, you know. Uh, so, is one's a penalty, you know? I'm hearing for you guys that the defenders put two arms on him, two hands on him, and, and pushed him down, you know. And I've seen that happening in the game, and I've seen the referee no giving us free kicks for, it, for that. So, it's worked consistently against us, unfortunately. But what's a free kick? You know, you give free kicks in other parts of this pitch for as much, if not more, a little, you know, less than that. So that's where the consistency and decisions really, like, do your head in. But we, you know, kind of shoot ourselves in the foot by not killing Moff, not by putting the ball in the back of the net when we should have done, and then, uh, as I say, getting done with a, a kind of like sucker punch, so to speak. The guys right behind our gantry, John, were asking, uh, they, they made similar points, they felt we had loads of chances to win the game today, and they wanted us to ask, do you think there's an area in January you may look to, to strengthen the squad to bring in somebody with that clinical cutting edge? Yeah, a lot comes down to money and being available, you know, you've seen what the club are trying to do to bring money in, you know, so... Uh, if somebody wants to give me some money, I'll go and get, I'll go do my best to, to do that, you know, but we might not be in that situation. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we know, you know, everyone's wanting that particular striker who's going to score you 20 goals a season, you know, and it was the same in the summer. Very, very, very hard to come by, really hard to come by. And we're, we're not alone. We're not alone. Everyone's trying to find them. Uh, and we are trying, you know, because you've got to be ready in case money appears, you know. Uh, and I think we we are, but you know it's it needs to come from above. 
Uh, can we ask also in terms of squad, we noticed today Liam Henderson wasn't even on the bench. Is that an injury? Yeah, he's fractured a rib. And he was struggling breathing and, and uh, he headed a ball in training on Thursday and he was in agony. So he went and got an x-ray and he has got a, a fractured rib. So that's what kept him out today. Seb Ross picked up an illness, uh, so he wasn't available either. Uh, and just finally, we've got, uh, of course, Dundee back here at the stadium on uh, Thursday night. It's a cup game. Can you give us your thoughts on that one? Yeah, well, it's our next game. It's our next game. And, you know, I've always... You, you, you play the cards you're dealt. I've always said that. You know, it's a, it's a cup game. So we had a, a good game against Dundee in, in the League Cup. They ran out winners. There wasn't a lot in it. And we've got them on our home patch. So uh, we look forward to that game. Uh, yeah, it's a cup tie. It's an opportunity to maybe go further in that cup. We go out to try and win every game. Uh, that will be no different. Uh, we obviously want to try and be a bit more clinical in front of goal. That's another opportunity to try and do that. Well, here's what we can. John, as always, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.